Hello, everyone. Welcome to our virtual open house. My name is Mr. Hrovat. I am the seventh grade mathematics teacher here at Baldwin Middle. I'm very excited to walk you guys through our open house today and answer some questions that you might have here of me. Again, my name is Mr. Rovat. Um, I am new to Baldwin. This is my first year here. Uh, I come from a background of adult learning um, and I have a degree in educational studies from Arizona State University with a focus on curriculum design. So getting right into things here for our course introduction, I'm going to be teaching two separate classes this year. Uh, so I have accelerated math as well as math two for seventh grade. Uh, and of course I have one Baldwin homeroom class that is strictly online. Um, so we will have six total units and 15 modules within those units, and those will all be coming out of this textbook. Every student who has come to school has a copy of this textbook, as well as my students who are on Baldwin Homeroom. They have access to this book online. Um, again, we will be going through everything through this textbook. So we have six total units and 15 modules. Uh, so as you can imagine, we are moving very at a very fast pace um, and super important that we are utilizing the resources that are available to us during this course. So first question might be, how do I get in contact with Mr. H? Um, so email is absolutely my preferred method of contact. Uh, it's a lot easier just to check on an email and get you a, a quicker response than to stop and take a phone call, um, especially during planning periods and things of that nature. Um, so first contact, if possible, I would ask that you'd reach out to me via email. Um, and if we need to have additional contacts uh, aside through email, I can always be reached by phone. So the phone number is provided here uh, with my experience extension um, and you can always contact me by phone or email um, but you'll probably get a faster response if you contact me through email all right a hot ticket item is how to turn in work so i'm going to kind of break this up between uh, my students who are here in person as well as the students who are going through baldwin homeroom um, so for the students who are on that hybrid approach right now who actually come into school physically a few days of the week uh, they have the option of submitting item assignments through focus or in person. Uh, so I tell all the students, hey, we're going to be turning this in on X date. You can bring it straight to class and we have bins in the classroom with their class period on it that they can submit them there. Um, I have a few students who prefer to upload assignments through focus and I'm totally OK with that. Uh, the main goal is that we're getting those assignments turned in and on time. Now for my Baldwin homeroom students, they are limited so obviously they're not able to bring their assignments here in class uh, so i am asking that all those assignments for our baldwin homeroom group are submitted through focus um, now in the world of technology guys i understand things happen things come up and focus might not be working for whatever reason if that is the case and i've told the students this multiple times if you're having issues uploading into focus uh, or just focus in general, not loading for you, whatever that case may be. Um, students can also email me their assignments. I ask that this is not the first approach that they take. They should be trying to upload things through focus. But if we're getting to a point where a deadline's coming up and uh, the technology is getting in the way, they can always email the assignment and let me know just, hey, I had an issue with focus. Uh, here's my assignment for whatever module or whatever we're working through for that day. Um, so again, for those in-person students, they have the option to submit assignments here in the bins for their designated class or submit through focus. For my Baldwin homeroom students, their first option is going to be to upload through focus and at our last resort, they can email me their assignment should they need to. Tutoring hours, uh, so my scheduled tutoring hours and this is in the syllabus as well. Uh, Monday is my face to face tutoring from 2 to 4 p.m. And then on Fridays I have virtual tutoring hours from 2 to 4 p.m. Now these are not set in stone and I say that because I understand sometimes students might need additional help and they don't want to wait till Friday or they can't wait till Monday. Um, I am flexible. I just ask that you reach out to me in advance um, and say, hey, Mr. H, I'm having some issues uh, with whatever. Can I stay after for a few minutes or, or however amount of time they need to? Um, I I'm happy to accommodate that. Um, again, as, as long as I have a little bit of a heads up and a little bit of notice, um, I should be able to accommodate changing these hours around should you need to. Grading policy. Um, so how the final grade is made up here. So homework is going to be 15% of your total grade. Classwork is 15% of your total grade. 
quizzes will be a 30% chunk of the total grade and tests are 40% a chunk of the total grade. Um, so the main things here, what I'm seeing in the first couple of weeks is making sure you're submitting assignments on time. And we're going to be talking about late work, late work and makeup work here in just a second. Um, but to ensure you're getting the most points possible, make sure you're submitting those assignments on time. As far as late work, I do accept late work. However, with the caveat, that each day the student misses, they will receive a deduction from the possible amount of points earned. So the best bet is just to submit all the assignments on time. Um, I'm sure the students will agree that I've been giving ample amount of time to get stuff submitted um, and turned in as we work through these first couple of weeks. Um, but again, please, please, please make sure that your children are submitting their assignments on time. They're completing all their work. Uh, that is one of the keys to success in this class. Absolutely. Um, no doubt, no doubt about it. If a student is out, they have one day per the county guidelines for each day they're out to make up those missed assignments. It is the student's responsibility to inquire about any missed work after an absence. Um, so they can either email me with a planned absence and say, hey, I'm going to be out, or they can come into class the following day whenever they return and just say, hey, Mr. H, I'm, I was out the past couple of days or however many days. Can you let me know what assignments I've missed? Um, additionally, I post information within our Teams pages. Um, focus is always up to date, so there could be an assignment in there, and under the information in Focus, they can see what that assignment is as well. Um, for my online students, my Baldwin homeroom students, they have the advantage where all of the classes are recorded. Uh, so if they are out for whatever reason, they can go back and rewatch that lecture, rewatch that lesson, and get caught up right where they right where they left off. Um, so that is another option those Baldwin homeroom students have available to them. And so this kind of goes into online. What if I'm absent? Um, so again, just as I mentioned before, if it's a student who's on that hybrid approach or they're coming in person, best bet is just to ask, what did I miss? Um, they can email me in advance or ask in person. And those Baldwin homeroom students, make sure to look within Teams to see if there's any reminders of what has been missed and you can watch those recorded lessons or lectures from that day to get caught back up. Guys, I'm super, super excited to see what 2020 has in store for us here moving forward. It's been a great first few weeks. Um, I look forward to being successful and making sure every student is driven towards success. Please, please, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you just want to chat, reach out to me. Um, I've had a lot of parents already reaching out and and having conversations with them. So please, please reach out if you have any questions. I'm happy to discuss. This is clearly a partnership between uh, myself and you guys to make sure uh, that every student is successful. And that's our goal here. Um, so again, I, I look forward to the rest of the what the rest of the year and what it has in store for us. If you have anything, please reach out and uh, we're going to have a great year. Thank you so much and have a great day.